One of the new features added in the Tarkov 0.12 update was weapon presets. Personally, it's my favourite feature added. It cuts down all the time taken for modding a weapon, and within a couple of clicks rather than a couple of minutes, you can have the best ergonomic M4, the sexiest AK, without having to go into the traders or the flea market one by one and purchasing every single attachment. So today's video is going to show you how to use presets and more importantly, to show you how to make some money with it. So, I've got an AK here. I really like this AK and say it's the only weapon that I want to use in Raid at the moment. So I want to duplicate this really quickly without having to buy each and every item individually. What I can do is I can right click on the item and it will bring you up a list of options. If you have the workbench in your hideout to at least level 1, two options will appear. Modding and Edit Preset. We're going to focus on this edit preset button, so if you click on that, you will be brought to a modding screen, but a few extra options appear up in the top left. So this modding screen shows you every single attachment on the weapon at the moment, as well as its stats. But, what you can see up here is it says enter preset name, so you can call this weapon anything you like. Once you've named it, you can click save as, and save again. And then the preset is saved, you see I've got the name here that you can edit if you like, but if you go back to your stash, you'll see the AK has changed from just being an AK-104 to being an AK-104 My Cock Is Hard. So now it's time to duplicate this weapon. You go to presets, and then you'll see that it opens the last weapon that you opened in the modding screen. This isn't the preset, My Cock Is Hard, or whatever you've called yours. You then have to go to the open button and search for it. Once you've found it, click open, and then it will register that you are in the preset. You can assemble and disassemble it if you like, but what we're going to do is go to find parts. It will then show you a list of everything you need to build this weapon from scratch, including the base weapon itself. It will show you a total price, and you can purchase everything if you like to. But say you've already got a base AK-104 or a base weapon that you're modding, you can untick pretty much every item in here, so you can pick selected items that you want to purchase. So I've already got a base AK-104 in my inventory, so I'm going to untick it. It then reduces the total or estimated price. So once you've unticked all the items you don't need because you've already got another in your inventory or you want to mod it slightly different, you can then see that the total cost is either reduced or you can pick more things and make it go up. Then you can click purchase all and it will then purchase pretty much everything. Then as you can see all the items are at the top of your stash and what you can do is you can find the base AK that you have in your inventory, right click on it, edit preset and then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open my cock is hard and then click OK for discarding changes and you're going to want to click the assemble button on this. It will then tell you if you haven't got certain things, so I haven't got the gas tube in this, I haven't got the flashlight and I haven't got the 75 round mag, you can choose to buy it or you can choose to ignore it. I'm going to go ahead and say buy it for 66 grand. And then you can go back to it, go edit preset, once again open the weapon that you want, click OK. And then you can click assemble and then you can click the AK-104 and then click select. And if you go back, there's the AK and there's the other AK. I now have two My Cockers Hards. My Cockers Hards has doubled. Now the great thing about this is you're never overly spending. What it does is it automatically searches every trader that you have unlocked at a certain level and it searches the whole of the flea market. It will then pick whatever is cheapest for you and then pick that in your list for you to buy. So you're not spending the most amount of money on the flea market. It's varying on what you have unlocked and whatever's cheapest at the time. So I said how can you use this to make some money and to benefit you? Well. If you're doing the gunsmith quests, this is perfect. What I recommend you do is you go and make the weapon and before you hand it in, save it as a preset. Here's an example. I got gunsmith part 2 here and it automatically fills in everything from gunsmith part 2. This is a weapon that you just need to purely hand in straight away. What you can then do is build this weapon and sell it on the flea market as a whole product. 
People seem to be buying these for quite a lot of money because they can't be bothered to go through the hassle of modding out the weapon individually. So, I recommend doing this. Every single gunsmith task you do, save it as a preset before trading it in, and then just make a few of them and put them on the flea market. You will be making some profit, considering you can use the preset thing to get it for the cheapest it possibly can go, and then you can stick it up for say a 20 to 50 grand profit. This is what I've been doing to make money, and losing it pretty much instantly, but hey. So guys, I hope this helped you, if it did let me know down below in the comments. If you want to stay up to date with all my content, then hit that subscribe button and the notification bell to stay up to date whenever I upload. I'll see you all in the next video everyone, I'm gonna go jerk off now cause uh, my cock is hard. I'd like to thank you all for staying to the end of this video, but before I end it, I'd like to tell you something about Shadow. Shadow is a company that I'm working with to promote Max Gaming PC settings anywhere you are. Shadow is a cloud-based subscription service which allows you to subscribe $30 a month and you can play any games, Max settings, anywhere you are, which means you can have a broken up PC, a shitty laptop, or a Mac, and you can still play games like Tarkov in Max settings, 1440p, 60fps, and this is actually how I record all my gameplay and stream Tarkov at this point in time so if you liked how the game looked in this video then check out the description and it'll take you to Shadow's website you can do more research there and if you do decide to sign up using the code SAM10 you'll get $10 off your first month thank you so much everyone toodle pip cheerio enjoy your evening